Are you ready to create the perfect Halloween shirt? Join me as I turn a simple t-shirt into this Yes, I Can Drive a Stick design using Caesar Easy Weed and my HTV Rock Auto Heat Press. With a witch flying across the moon, this shirt is a must have for the spooky season. And it's so fun, you'll wanna wear it year round. <laughs> Let's get the heat press going and make some Halloween magic. Hey everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. All right, we are in Cricut Design Space and I have the SVG all loaded and ready to go. Um, I created this design over on Affinity Designer for my iPad and brought it in. Um, the font that I used is called Halloween and I downloaded that from Creative Fabrica. The witch is from a witch SVG bundle, also from Creative Fabrica. And the broom is a design that I created last year to go onto a Halloween t-shirt. I will have the links for the font and the witch listed down below in the description. I will also have a link to the broom SVG and to this entire SVG. That will be listed down below if you'd like to make your own t-shirt. So what we're gonna do right now is let's check the size. And this is nine and a quarter inches wide by just a little over nine and a half inches tall. And that will be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and make our design. I will be cutting this on a 12 by 12 mat. Um, I'm going to click up here on the material because I am using heat transfer vinyl. So I need to make sure that the mirror image is on. And then I will close that out. Click next. I will select my accessory, which is my Cricut Explore Air 2. And now for the material, I am going to use Everyday Iron-On. So I will choose that. And then I'm going to load up my mat and get this cut. And I'll be back with you shortly. All right, so our design is cut. And I think this is going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, I did want to talk about the Caesar Easy Weed that I'm using. Um, I got this in a, I believe it was a three pack from Sam's. Um, in this particular packet, we have green, royal blue, navy blue, purple, and purple. <laughs> so green, royal blue, navy blue, and purple. Um, my initial thought for making this was, oh, it's got to be in black. It's Halloween. But I don't have any black heat transfer vinyl, and I don't know why. Um, another thing I want to add is uh, right before I put my design into the Cricut, um, I realized I did not have a weeding box. Um, so I did go in and I added a weeding box. So if you, if you decide to download this SVG file, um, it will have a weeding box for you. So before I start doing that, um, I always use a brayer and I just go over the design. And then that makes sure that the pieces that I want to stay on the transfer sheet will stay on the transfer sheet. So let's just go ahead and start doing this. I know this isn't going to be a lot to see, so I'll just go ahead and speed through this part and we'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, and our design is weeded and we are ready to go on to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything around. I will get my HTV Ron Auto heat press turned on so that we can put this onto our t-shirt. 
So I'll be back with you in just a bit. All right, so we are here at the HTV Ron Auto Heat Press. And according to my notes, uh, Caesar Easy Weed needs to be pressed at 305 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. And I like to do 12 seconds. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set my temperature for 305. And then I'm gonna set my temperature, or my, excuse me, my time for 12 seconds. All right. And now while we wait for that to heat up, um, let me tell you about my shirt. Um, this is a Gildan heavy cotton ladies V-neck t-shirt that I picked up from Michaels. And I really like this gray heather color. So I'm going to go ahead and get this on here. I do want to pre-press this t-shirt. And I want to make sure the collar is, the, the point of the collar is off of the press. So we have this lined up. And as soon as we come up to temperature, I'm going to do the 10 to 12 second press just to warm up my fabric. And then we will get our design put on here. And we will make our Halloween t-shirt. Okay, so I have done my pre-press, and now we're going to line this up on our t-shirt. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, or if you can see this. Um, I did crease my carrier sheet here for the center. And that's what I'm going to line up on my, with the point of my collar. And we'll just pull that, we'll give it like about two fingers or so. I don't want it too low. There, I think that'll work. Um, I don't have to put a Teflon sheet over the top of this because I already have a Teflon sheet covering my top platen. So that's handy. Um, now I'm just going to pull this back up so that the point of my shirt is off of the mat. And I know a lot of people are worried about this because there is not an, a lot of clearance. And I have even less because I forgot to take this extra pad out. Um, but as long as you're careful, it's nothing to worry about. So we'll go ahead and put this in and run this for 12 seconds. All right. Caesar Easy Weed is a hot or cold peel. Um, I have a Stampin' Up! tin that I picked up from somewhere. I don't know where I got it. And I just like to kind of run it over to kind of pull some of the heat off of the design before I start pulling it up. And then I'm going to carefully take it from the corner and I'm going to watch especially my letters to make sure nothing's coming up. And then I will start coming from this side. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. And now I'm just going to smooth it out and give it another 12 second press. And there is our Halloween shirt. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, get everything turned back around, and I'll be right back with you. 
And here is our finished shirt. And this kind of a stick, I can definitely drive. I absolutely love how this dark navy blue turned out on this Grey Heather shirt. It's a little bit different than the stark black from your typical Halloween designs, but it still has that dark and mysterious look to it. Don't forget, I will have links to the font as well as the witch, witch SVG bundle down in the description. I will also have links to my free broom SVG as well as this entire design. So check the description below. So thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Until then, have a great day, you guys. Bye.